BIM is building information modeling. Traditional CAD being lines and circles and representation, what you actually put into a drawing now are lights, walls, doors, receptacles, panels, and actually virtually build a building before it's ever put up on site. BIM for us guys in the field um, is a way for us to see the way the project is going to come together in a 3D model on a, on a computer. It shows our conduit in there, uh, it shows all ductwork, all plumbing pipe, everything down to the light fixture and a whip that goes through the fixture. BIM does allow us to collaborate with the other trades before uh, the tradesmen are out on the field working on these projects. We uh, coordinate um, all the issues uh, ahead of time before installation begins so we don't have that loss of time for a, a foreman to go back uh, or, or collaborate with the other foreman to try to figure out the problem and the solution. All those problems are worked out ahead of time. It's really forcing you to look down to those last devices or the placement of boxes a lot earlier than we would have before. This gives us a huge advantage because you're able to see this job before it's ever built. So we rely heavily on our, our subcontractors uh, and faith to kind of coordinate this process and, and help us along. What we have on the screen here are two of the tools that we utilize for BIM. On the right hand side here we use Autodesk Revit, on the left we use Autodesk Navisworks. On the right is where we perform all the work that we're going to be doing. On the left hand side is the tools that we use for the collaboration process. And it allows us to go in and find out if there's any sort of coordination issue. As you can see, you have the plumbing here. It needs to get up into the next floor. How does it interact with any of the conduit we have running? We also understand that this plumber would be more apt to get his equipment in first before our electrical. Because if we get our electrical, now he's got to work in up and over the top of us. And the other portion of that, too, is you can kind of follow this all along. And we can take a look here at the conduits. Again, if we can pre-bend some of this stuff uh, off-site and have it shipped on over and do the connecting, just so much the better for us. One of the most recent examples of BIM is the Monroe Clinic project, a new hospital uh, expansion on the existing clinic that was there. We modeled uh, the entire electrical system along with the other trades on that project. We've got floor to ceiling heights of 16 to 17 feet and every inch is crammed full of mechanical and electrical and you really need this sophistication um, to be able to fit everything up in those areas. When this plan came out to us it was identified as clash free. That meant that I know exactly the elevation of the conduit that I need to run. I can prefab my threaded rod, I can prefab my strut and everything is designed to fit. We saved the project money in not having to redo a lot of the mechanicals and electricals because we weren't reworking things. This seems to catch, you know, maybe at least 99 to 100%. Uh, with the other methods, seem maybe you'd, you'd get 75% at best. The owner can use these models for maintenance of the facility. You're giving the owner at the end a system to, to advance the life cycle of a building. All the way around, we come out with not only a better uh, quality project, uh, but we're saving money and time. BIM is a very much of a solution-driven um, program. I think that as you see sophisticated buildings being built, um, more and more of them are going to be uh, built in 3D and be using BIM as a tool. BIM has absolutely made us a better company. It's given us the ability to really be proactive and be kind of on the the leading edge of installation methods and new techniques. By faith technologies being involved in BIM, we're the front runners of our, of our industry. We're willing to do what it takes to, to get any project done and, and this is the way of the future and we're a part of it. BIM environment I think is here to stay. It's only going to get stronger. 